Okay, today we're here to replace our Schmidt and Bender 4 to 16 by 50 with a Heinsolt 3 to 12 by 56. This is uh, one of the Shot Show scopes uh, that we're going to put through its paces down here at Rifles Only. Came with its cleaning kit, and we're going to get ready to mount it up on our GA Precision Harbinger. Uh, this particular rifle's got about 10,000 rounds through it right now, but it's still uh, probably one of the most accurate ones here. So we're just going to swap this scope out because this has been on, well, on and off since uh, roughly 2004, and it's a Klein reticle version of the Schmidt and Bender 4 to 16. Okay, we got the uh, Schmidt and Bender off. That's over here. It'll probably go into the safe or something like that, and we'll pop it on somewhere if somebody comes by and their scope goes down. We can always do that, but in the meantime, I don't think we need it, so we could just get rid of it. So, we'll toss that off over there. Um, what we're going to do is got these uh, Badger 34mm rings, and we're going to get those. These are their uh, alloy rings, not the steels, but that's fine. We'll get that up and running, and we'll kind of take a look at what that looks like. Alright, getting these rings on. We got these torqued down. Everything's good there. Uh, as you can see, with the 56 objective on this, it's a little bit high with the uh, higher alloy rings. I think you can almost opt for the uh, lower uh, set of um, Badger rings there. They have the two sizes in the 34 millimeter. These just happen to be the taller ones. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't have another set of shorter ones here though all the sets I have happen to be the taller ones but not a big deal we'll work with that but as you can see we got plenty of clearance down under there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the um, eye relief which uh, first thing I noticed picking up the Zeiss it's got a real generous eye relief and it just gives you a perfect clear sight picture right from the very beginning okay we got our eye relief set on this. What now is I have the feeler gauges underneath there, so when I tighten down the top screws, it's going to keep the scope level for me. Um, like I said, I got a really good sight picture, so it was pretty much right there when um, I put it on. So it wasn't a big deal at all. And we'll get these adjusted so we got equal space on both sides. So that shouldn't be a problem. People go that 15 inch pound using the C conch. We usually use those, but I have the um, fat wrench here, and I'm gonna go a tick over 15. We usually run about 20, uh, mainly because we're pretty hard on our stuff, and you know, you just kind of want them to make sure they're nice and snug. Yeah, we might get a ring mark here and there, but no big deal. Okay, we have our uh, rifle set up at the range here. We got a target down range. We're shooting the brown silhouette in between the white silhouettes there. Uh, as you can see, I put my suppressor on the rifle I just to make life a little nicer. Uh, and I also have some uh, Corbon 175 ammo here that I'm going to be working with. Um, Pete over at Corbon is uh, working a load up so we can get a little bit more speed out of the shorter barrels. And uh, so that's what I'm working with here pretty accurate stuff I like it shoot Corbon all the time and I also got my uh, tab mat down and got the tent stakes in so that way it doesn't blow away uh, as you can tell at rifles only here we tend to have a little bit of a breeze all the time which uh, is what it is and doesn't stop us at all so I'm gonna jump in behind the rifle and uh, get some shots down range all right as I said uh, I want to drop in straight behind the rifle and a real nice parallax adjustment side focus here goes from uh, 50 meters 60 70 80 90 100 then the 150 then from 200 up to a thousand uh, to infinity pretty nice parallax adjustment uh, again one tenth mil adjustable scope uh, one tenth on the windage one tenth on the elevation and as I said it's a multi-turn uh, knob there so you got tons and tons of movement on this scope. Uh, like I said, we're gonna like work in behind the rifle here and get some rounds downrange. Let me 
make sure everything's good. All right, five rounds in our mag. Let's put this in so it doesn't blow away on us. But and check it, make sure we're lined up on our target. But there we go. Let's move the whole right with my body. I want to make sure I maintain that I'm straight behind the rifle and that everything is nice. Looks pretty good there. So, get my body straight. Real, real generous eye relief. Like I said, it, it's, it's pretty darn nice. And the edge to edge is fantastic on this scope. I mean, it really just jumps out at you. So we'll do a little bit of dry practice here, make sure our trigger's nice, everything's good. Dry practice is the key there. It's going to make sure that you uh, go ahead and do what you're supposed to do. Okay, as you can see, we kind of got the rifle on paper. Everything's all set here. What we're going to do now is um, we read the mills and we figured out it was uh, roughly two mils up, maybe like uh, 2.1 or so up. And we need to come left there, or right rather, correction, like a one and a half, 1.4 or 2.4 I, I take that back and get a little crazy on you guys uh, it's about 2.4 mils right so people always ask well how much is that down at 100 yards and yada 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 and I don't care um, I read the mills in the scope in the reticle and now I just dialed exactly what I saw onto the scope so that problem is all taken care of now all we have to do is shoot our group and see what it looks like so gonna go in and get that up and going Awesome. Wasn't too bad. Um, three shots are there. Everything's good. And we're just going to move it over to the 10 ring. Probably going to come two tenths right and maybe one tenth down uh, of an adjustment. Um, you know, you don't have to go over there and measure it or do anything like that. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, so, you know, there you go. Alrighty, sounds good. Um, we're gonna get back to shooting this bad boy and uh, you know, we'll kind of pick up with the camera here and there as we uh, put it through our paces, but I think it's a good beginning between the uh, the Heinzolt there, 3 to 12 by 56 in myself. And uh, the Harbinger doesn't do too bad for 10,000 rounds, what you say, with factory ammo.